Hello everybody, Xeno76 here for part 5 on my animation sprite tutorial. And in this episode, kind of due to popular demand, I'm going to teach you guys how to pretty much press space to continue text in a Flash video. So, the, f the best way to learn that is to just dive right in. If you guys um, will go to the link in the description, there's a file, like a link to a file, where you can follow me exactly on what I'm about to do here. I'm going to use the exact same files as you. And I've even included a final version, I call it a final version, of what our tutorial is. It's a fully fleshed out little mini movie in the Flash format. So you guys, after this tutorial, can take a look on how I structure my Flash videos. So you maybe can get an idea on how to help make yours in the future. I thought it would be pretty helpful. So I just threw it in there, in with the files, because just because. Anyway, we're going to want to download it to open it up and pretty much get it ready to go. And you're going to want to click on Sonic Gets Squished by Knuckles tutorial version because that's what we're going to do. You can just go dive right into the full version and mess with it all you want, but if you want this tutorial, just open up the tutorial version. Let it load and do its thing. And we should be ready to go with this scene right here. So, we already got this little animation right here. If you hit Control Enter and test the movie, a little tiny Sonic will run across Mushroom Hill and stumble across the Chaos Emerald. But since there's no um, text dialogue or code to tell it to let, it, let the user read it, there is nothing there. So, what we're going to do here real quick, which is also a little, a little side tutorial I'm going to do here, is I got these assets all ready for us to make... A character dialog box and we're gonna make a new layer right here and call it text and we're gonna put a keyframe an empty one right here at the last frame because that's where the camera changes and zooms out so we can at least see Sonic's text but as I stated before I have all the assets you need for this tutorial in this flash file already so you won't have to use your own you won't have to copy and paste anything in there I mean you can if you want but this is pretty much the easiest way to do it so I already have this little folder called text box here and you're going to want to click text box and drag it into the text layer and boom so we got the text ready right there but we're going to want to know who's talking and I know Sonic's the only one in the scene but maybe in multi you know scene multi character scenes you know you don't you won't know who's talking unless there's like a voice clip or something so I got this little image of Sonic's head I call it Sonic headshot and you're going to want to put it in the same layer as text and size it to your liking. You can make it pop out of the text box a little bit. You can make it where he perfectly fits in there. Do whatever you want. I kind of like doing a little bit of both where he kind of pops out like that and not. And then we add the text where he says something like, Sweet, a Chaos Emerald. Which I should capitalize that. And I'm going to make that text bigger. That's just a byproduct of me making the video earlier. So now we've got the text ready. We'll test the movie. Since there's still no code, we will only see it for one flash of a frame. And nobody will get to see anything. So what we're going to do is go back to our extracted folders. And click on the press space to continue as2.txt file. Now this is the code that lets you do everything. And i got to be 100% honest here. I didn't make this. I pretty much practically stole it because back then I used to extract Swift files from other Flash animators and I wanted to know how to do this as well. And I found this code and it seemed like this is what made it work, so I copied it. So I'm just letting you know this is a disclaimer. You're probably using someone else's from scratch press space to continue code. And if you're not okay with that, I'm sorry, but this is it right here and I apologize to whoever made this. But you're going to want to copy this, make sure you're on this text frame right here, this single frame. Open up your actions layer, paste it right in. And basically what this code is going to say is stop. On, and then this, this jumbled code right here is pretty much going to tell you when the user, when a certain key is pressed in this scenario, it's the space button, it'll allow the movie to continue playing. So once we test this animation once again with this code on there, He'll start his scene, and then it'll stop right here, where he's like, sweet, a Chaos Emerald. And then if we press space, it continues playing the movie, but since the movie loops at that point, it just restarts the movie. But that's how you know it worked. 
So that's basically it. Uh, you got the whole scene set up right there, and that's how you do it. Uh, one little reminder I would like to say is if you don't, if you're tired of setting up a like text scenario for your characters all the time, an easy way to do it quickly is if you hold Alt and click on the frame that has the text on it. You can click it like that. It'll keep everything in that layer and push it over to the next one. So look, all the code transfers over, all the assets in that layer transfer over, and then you can make it another character talk or him talk like a second time. So he's like, with this I can finally get back to normal size. Now, I know the text is going to be out because I'm trying to make this video as quick as possible. But with all that right there, you can easily edit and continue story. And it saves a lot of time. In my opinion, it saves a lot of time. And you'll see this a lot with um, the full version of this little mini movie. But with I added that in right there, I already got two lines of dialogue. And it's only been like a minute and a half. So if you already got your story planned out and you just got a lot of animating to do, this is a good way to save some time. But what I will do right here is pretty much say thank you for watching. I'm going to play the full version of this mini-movie right after I say goodbye. And I hope you enjoy. And maybe stay tuned for the next episode. So, Zeno is out of here. Goodbye. Ow!